Welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. It is day 124. We started today with actually a little bit of BGH uh, on Roar. Did an hour of that, you know, did a little bit of stuff in between, and we are back because I just, I couldn't wait around. I couldn't be caught waiting around for the next one to come around. There it is, 99 Hunter. Wanted to go ahead and pick that up so I can disable those daily challenges. And I knew exactly who it was that sold the cape. It is this otherwise unnamed hunting expert here in the Feldip Hills. But here we go. Skill cape of Hunter. I will go ahead and pick that up and try to walk out of the grass so it's actually visible. Yeah, there we go. With the beautiful, you know, old Hunter logo. I much prefer this logo here to the current one. Uh, though I think the current one is still pretty nice either way. One other thing that we can do uh, that I haven't done yet is if I go down here to the Hunter Mark shop, um, I could pick up this title right here. You know, this title that I'll probably want to get eventually anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and buy a few eggs. Uh, yeah, let's let's pick up three of these. So, and <laughs> that's great. A Pavasaurus right away. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, a Brutish and a Feral. I don't think these are too great, but a Pavo is quite good and i can't check that until okay 118 oh okay feral checked brutish can't until 100 but we got a male feral dinosaur uh all right yeah done with bgh or uh done, done with bgh for now um also this is what the meat collection looks like still have quite a few uh tier three hunts that i can come back and do that's like three more roars uh and then an extra uh, cycle of the oculi's and this is really starting to look quite nice. So of these challenges here, the really good ones are uh, Herbalore, Summoning, Crafting, uh, Smithing, and Archaeology. Uh, so we're, we got like 5 of 14 or 5 of 16, something like that, um, that are actually quite good hits. Uh, I think Agility is also pretty decent and Fishing is, is pretty decent, but... Uh, you know, I want to prioritize things that are not just straight grindable, if you know what I mean. Uh, things that, like, require resources, like crafting. I mean, you can, you can technically just grind it in DG, but that's not fun. Uh, summoning, you know, saves on charms uh, if I get more and more daily challenges. Um, so farming will be 99ing soon. I imagine we'll be 99ing mining and woodcutting quite soon as well. So there'll be three more ticked off, uh, as well as construction. And Dungeoneering is quite close as well, so lots more of these about to get X'd out uh, in the coming days. On to day 125, did a little bit of Anachronia agility, and now we're back to construction as expected. Uh, but with the end of this contract, we can, you know, teleport on to the estate agent, which the Varak one is the correct choice, by the way. Initially, I set it to the Prif agent, but Varak gives you access to Karos's house, so... Uh, very convenient there. But there we have it. Uh, finally can unlock the last plank box upgrade, which I believe can hold 100 planks. Uh, and that, sh yeah, that should be all the, uh, you know, construction contract stuff done. All right, got to go back to Lumbridge for this one. But let's see. I believe it goes up to 100. Yeah, so that, uh, that's going to be really helpful. Level 95 construction picked up. Uh, Definitely not getting draining. No, no, my mind is fine. Just did some mining on a Traher now and got pretty lucky. Uh, ended up with two metamorphic geodes, and I finally got the last strange rock for this statue uh, the second time around. So, yeah, it was a fire-making rock. I didn't feel like just throwing logs at a bonfire for potentially, like, one or two hours just to, you know, reset this uh, statue. Uh, but it's nice that I ended up picking that rock up. And uh, yeah, let's see what I get from the, the next one. Smithing, that is decent. Um, don't know what this is for. Can be traded in for reputation. Cool, so that's going straight into Vindy. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's nice that I can now uh, collect all of these again. Especially for like agility, you know, construction, crafting. The things I haven't maxed yet. Uh, it's a fair bit of XP. And this is currently what the uh, ore bank looks like. It's starting to look a lot nicer. Made up some more steel bars. Uh, those are for, for steel nails to keep doing construction. I've actually been making them manually because the shops don't have uh, much stock at all. Um, 
Yeah, about 2,000 rune bars, which is not quite enough to finish uh, summoning up, uh, nor enough to finish up smithing, but it, it's a fair number. Uh, 471 Elder Rune, which, hey, Elder Rune set might uh, knock that out pretty pretty soon, today or tomorrow, and uh, still about 2,600 Luminite banked up. So don't think I need to mine any more Luminite. Uh, quite a bit of Runite left to go to uh, match it, and really it's the uh, Light and Dark Anemica holding me back, as, as is pretty normal. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to be too overzealous, but whenever I see a trigger an hour, you know, I'm gonna go do, do some mining. And we have another nice level coming in today. 98 farming finally picked up. Uh, and one really nice thing this, uh, about this is that I can finally, uh, pop out these arcane apoterosaurs. So let's hope I get a breeding pair out of them. I'm, I'm pretty lucky. So maybe we just click and look. Okay. Male female there we go all right so we have another pin technically unlocked now right uh something that we haven't been using whatsoever uh i think these guys eat raw beef or just raw meat in general so let's take these over to anachronia unlock that pin and get it started on today 126 picking up a 95 fishing finally uh this is going to be my next big grind after i finish up construction i think so yeah getting started on it right now seeing as i did quite a bit of construction and you know trying to round out my wise perk for the day and yes i know just how painful it's going to be to sit here for um well it's like 300,000 to 400,000 an hour and I have 4.25 million to go, so that is that is like 14 hours at the worst uh, of this, which is very dull and very active. So today I ended up with a Slayer Daily that I re-rolled into woodcutting, and I thought, uh, well, may as well just go ahead and knock it out after doing our you know normal daily woodcutting. Let's claim that 137k. That puts us 68k away, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and burn through this. And here we should have it with the Strange Rocks for woodcutting level 99. So there's another one done. Let's head to Lumbridge and pick up that cape. My mistake, it's actually north of Falador. Uh, yeah, I watched so much old school content that... <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I forgot, so yes, please, and I think I have that money. Boom, there's another cape done, and the, the carpet's going to be slightly in the way, but that is fine. There, we've got it. So I think that means that from now on, all of my divine limit in the Garage of Dungeon is going to be uh, used on fishing. Um, it, primarily on sharks, because they give the most experience per day. Uh, but cavefish and rocktails are also good to pick up. Um, you know, cavefish uh, are just, you know, better healing. Rocktails, of course, are better healing. They're, you know, like premier PVM food. Uh, so picking up any of those is fine. And I think in any case, it's, it's going to be pretty decent XP rates. Uh, so that's the plan. I just wanted to go ahead and knock that out uh, so that I could kind of funnel that into fishing. Um, that after the fishing is done, I have no idea uh, what my divine limit goes to. Maybe maybe just Herbalore? And starting day 127 with 98 construction, just about 880,000 XP left to go before I'm technically done. I'll be able to finish just on God statues at that point. And uh, it's it's really going to be funny to see what the uh, shop looks like, how many credits I build up post uh, post getting the outfit and all the upgrades. I was getting unlucky with the sacred clay rolls for quite a few of them in a row now. And this one is just kind of insulting. In a depth, three points away from being able to get the full artist's outfit. So I have to wait, I think, a few more days for the next Sacred Clay to show up. That's so sad. In other news, though, uh, alongside going to the Traveling Merchant, I do have just one more contract to do. Wise Old Man in Draenor. And after this is done, wow, I'm going to have 1,026 contract credits. And I think that is the last contract that I'm going to have to knock out uh, before, well, my construction is done. Um, I have God statues to do now and again in two days when the monthly reset happens. So, uh, those two, uh, you know, runs of God statues should finish up my construction. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it where it is, 
after I uh, repair this man's bookcases one last time. Most of the other times I've been doing mining recently, I totally forgot uh, to bring these along. But this was the plan for all of my red shins, or crimson shins, sorry, 3,850 of them. Uh, and they do a little bit of extra damage whenever you uh, go mining. So um, even just straight from the inventory, from what I understand, let's see. First hit, uh, it should be, yeah, there we go. It's ticking down. Um, that means basically my mining rate is slightly faster. Um, yeah, it, sh it should help out a little bit. Apparently, chins are only consumed on critical hits, and they add an extra 60 bonus crit damage, um, which I'm going to assume is just a flat amount uh, added on top. So, you know, you have like 3,800 chins that do 60 damage apiece, uh, and these rocks have 2,000 durability, so it's like 30 chins per extra ore, more or less. Um, it's It's something. I know. I, I also know I need to go get the uh, the Varok armor at some point. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that I haven't done that yet, uh, but it will help me out a little bit. So uh, going and knocking out all of the Varok tasks, uh, as well as some of the uh, uh, new Varok tasks, uh, is something I plan on doing soon. All right, just knocked out the Varok task set in its entirety, actually. I had never even done the easy diary, uh, so finished everything up in... I don't know, it took maybe an hour and a half, uh, and then a bit of waiting for a poison ivy bush to grow. Time to gather those rewards. And there are all of these beautiful lamps and the Varok Armor 4, which is quite nice for, uh, well, it gives you some extra charms from Bork if you decide to do Bork daily, um, which I might actually do for a little bit just to get those, uh, you know, crimsons and blues. Uh, but outside of that, it gives really solid, um, you know, mining and smithing bonuses. I should have done this a long time ago. Uh, but hey, uh, no time like the present, right? And I'm just going to throw everything into crafting. Um, that is where all of our bonus XP and whatnot is going to be going, as it is the slowest skill, uh, aside from Herblore, which is where everything went previously. So, all into crafting, and did that pick up a level? No, it did not. It picked up a third of a level. I think I'm also going to go and do all of the new Varrock achievements as, uh, well, just doing the easy part means that you no longer even have to wear the Varrock armor uh, to get all the bonuses. Um, and then medium, hard, and elite means, uh, you know, you get double the benefits for various parts of the armor. So um, medium is double chance to mine double ore. This gives you like one to 2%. So it goes up to like two to 4%. Um, for hard, it's double chance to smelt double bars. Again, 1% to 2% to like 2 to 4%. Uh, and then elite is double chance for double progress when smithing. Um, that's also a, a pretty minor benefit. Uh, but, you know, all those things taken into account, you know, we're getting at least like 2% more ore, 2% more bars for free, and 2% faster smithing. So all those things combined is pretty nice. I've been running around New Varrock looking for the last chest, okay, of 50. It's sitting outside of a house. I totally missed it for that reason. Like, I I was solely looking inside of buildings. Uh, okay, but those are done, and now I just have to kill a guard, and I'll be done with the elites. And done. And just finished up my Wilderness Task Set Elite. Um, mostly had to wait for uh, the ability to loot these things, but also I needed like fletching levels in the past and stuff for uh, the Criminal Bolts. I needed Slayer levels for the Lava Strikes. So uh, yeah, got that done for some XP. I actually think I have the requirements for almost every uh, Elite uh, Diary. The only one I'm missing is, is probably um, uh, Runecrafting related. Uh, and I know there are some that are a little annoying. Uh, I know I need 90 plus everything for Taranwin, so uh, I may go around and do some more of these uh, elite diaries, though. Anyway, here is the reward. I can claim the upgraded Wilderness Sword and two giant XP lamps that are both going straight into crafting. 95k and 95k. So today, actually uh, not today, but in 23 hours, we have monthly reset coming up. I actually have two monthly D&D &D tokens already, uh, one on me, one in the bank, 
and there's one at the traveling merchant today. So the plan for this month is actually uh, resetting the uh, giant oyster and resetting effigy incubator, uh, which I don't think I've done just yet. Um, if I've already doubled it this month, then I guess this is going to troll invasion, maybe. Not sure. Uh, but it's time to check that oyster. All right, what do you have for me this month? A whole bunch of garbage. As always, will be boosting my uh, fishing level up with Admiral Pies because that does increase the XP you get here. Um, so it's actually going to overboost me, uh, but you know, boosting up to 99 would give you the maximum XP you can get. Uh, that's that's also part of why I've been working on fishing because I wanted to eke out as much as I could from this monthly. So I think at this point we're able to feed the oyster. He will close up, and then we will use this on the giant oyster, reset it, and can I claim rewards? Yes, I can. There we go. Bandos Crozier, as a fortunate at least. Starting off day 128 with a bit of fishing frenzy. Uh, today was actually the release of the second front of Elder God Wars Dungeon, and I can't wait to get in there and start trying some of these new bosses. Uh, I know I got a few care pack kills in, but I wasn't really experiencing it, you know? Um, but first, you know, we have about 60 more levels to grind through, and there's one more of them done. 96 fishing. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to aim for, like... A million fishing a day or something and try to finish this over like the next three days um yeah it's gonna be rough well i managed to fill up my wise buff for the day so i decided it's time to start working on dg and dg crafting uh about to finish my last elite task which is you know triggering this portent and then uh it's just the hard task left to fully upgrade one of the roles, and that role is going to be the, uh, you know, crafting-related one, of course. Um, I don't actually know how many tokens I need to get still. Let's see. So I need 233,000 tokens, and I only have 57,900. Um, yeah, so I have to do quite a bit of DG. Uh, I, I don't know, honestly. I might just go ahead and grind the, grind out the tokens uh, before doing DG crafting, because it makes a really big difference. Not just this extra 3% chance, um, but the benefits of getting the hard and elite task set done. And with the click of this button, everyone knows what's coming. But there we have it. 99 construction picked up. And uh, yeah, I can instantly teleport straight to the estate agent and pick up the cape. So talk to him, uh, ask about houses, maybe? Next page, skill cape. Wow, that's uh, that's really hidden, huh? Uh, yes, I have the money, and equip it, and of course we show it off. And this actually fits quite well with the uh, the master outfit. I, I like that, uh, that fashion scape look there. And what's the perk? Chance to save planks, beautiful. I was actually hoping I'd end up dodging this, but uh, it looks like, uh, of course, I had to get a little unlucky with the challenge. Got a construction challenge today, so got to re-roll it. And hey, Herblore, you know what? With this extended Herblore and with the bonus XP that I have from Dragonkin Stars, uh, I might be done on today. 129, uh, haven't done a whole lot today. Did a little bit of token farming last night, need to do some more later on today, but... In between, there's uh, 97 fishing picked up, um, 2.3 mil to go. This is this is very rough. Just did a bit of summoning, picked up level 92 and most of the way to 93. And uh, yeah, it's time to do a back-to-back -back oyster again for the XP. Uh, all right, I'll take it. You know, another uh, another fortunate component. All right, we fed the boy. We use the token to reset the oyster. And then we check it again for, ah, that's, that's so bad. Just did my double penguins and uh, sadly didn't see a single penguin agent, which is, uh, it's unfortunate, but we got nine easies and one medium to open from the past few weeks. So uh, let's pop them. Um, hey, it's a fortunate, so we're keeping it. Uh, that is nothing straight reroll into another fortunate. That is pretty nice. Uh, nothing but an, an XP star. Okay. Uh, yeah. Reroll the 9k into 5k. Uh, 
Yep. Ah, fortunate. All right. That's a, that's a pretty decent rate. I know easies tend to be pretty good clues. Uh, unfortunately, I think that is a unique, but it's not a, uh, a fortunate comp. Uh, there's another fortunate black H five and last one, nothing. And the one medium, what do we got? We got a pith helmet, which is in fact a fortunate component. That's, that's pretty solid. That's uh that's five forts and 10 clues. Well, I felt like doing a little bit of smithing to round out the day and would you know it? I ended up getting a smithing challenge or well, re-rolling into one extended that that's going to be a nice chunk of XP. And I have two full elder rune sets that I can make. I had just enough bars. So time to burn through those. And we're on to day 132. Had to take a little bit of time away and haven't really been able to play like the past two days because I had some stuff going on uh, IRL. But anyway, we're back and we're doing some POF. Uh, and if we gather that, no, 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 it's this one, this one, yeah, that one is, is 99 in the farming skill. Uh, and then if I like click claim rewards here, um, it's also a 99 in the herb lore skill. It's a funny coincidence that that happened, <laughs> but, but, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, with that result. <laughs> All right. There are both of our new capes acquired. We got farming and we got herblor, and we actually got farming before herblor. So, gotta make sure it's in the right order in the tab. But there is the farming cape, which is quite nice. I mean, provides a chance to instantly harvest uh, all resources from a crop, speeds up, uh, you know, herb runs just a little bit, speeds up snake grass quite a bit, I'd imagine. Uh, and then the herblor cape, which can uh, instantly clean grimy herbs, also somewhat useful. Um, I mean, not getting experience for it though. I'm a, I'm a bit of a weirdo and I actually like the experience from cleaning stuff. So, um, uh, I don't know, might use that as a time save at some point. All right. We've been working on a lot of archeology span today. Got two Tetra compasses knocked out. Let's pop them open. Whole bunch of nothing. I mean, we got, we got two tomes, so that's, that's always nice. Uh, and the alcables are, are decent. Uh, what's in the other one? Let's see. Nothing, uh, nothing really fancy. I mean, master clues are nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So we, uh, we ended up getting an archaeology daily, I think. And I, I think that's why I just felt like doing some, uh, some arch, but we're up to, uh, 150 K away from 97. So about two and a half mil left to go for 99, uh, making pretty good progress. It would only take a, a few more days of really grinding out Tetra compasses and uh, we could finish the 99 up on oh, today. 134 just picked up 98 fishing also changed up some audio settings last night. So if anything sounds horrible, just feel free to call me out. Um, yeah. So most of my fishing is actually going to get done just through this daily and by doing mining and smithing. Um, so yeah, if, if there's anything left over after 99 mining, uh, and I'm, you know, closing in on, uh, 99 fishing or something. I'll just go knock that out. But getting these daily, like cave fish and rock tails is pretty nice. Spent most of the day working on mining, uh, over a few different Treyhern hours actually. Um, and from what I understand, I think I've finished up all of the rune bars that I need. So I have 1500 in the bank for summoning to get up to 95 where I'll start using crimson charms instead of blues. And yeah, the rest are all going into Elder Rune. There's level 97 smithing, which is, uh, well, the last real boost that we get to the smithing grind, I think. Um, so just finishing up two Elder Rune sets here. Uh, this is the all the plus fives, then I can turn them into burials. And I'll get uh, most of 97 to 98 taken care of. I think I have about four sets left to make after this, uh, which isn't too bad considering... Uh, yeah, let's just take a look. Um, yeah, 1300 rune bars. So that's enough for, for just about four sets. Uh, it, it's a little short, uh, but 128 elder rune already gathered 163 light anemica here. So, uh, hoping to finish this up over the next few days on Treyhern hours on today, 135, picking up a nice little 98 mining to start the day off. That is the last level that we need to, uh, yeah, continue improving our uh, Animica mining. Uh, gives you like an extra 5% chance to get double ore or something like that. Um, anyway, 
making good progress on this. I think this is the last inventory of light anemica that I have to mine, and then it's a few hundred dark to go. Yeah, so we have about uh, 450 or so left to mine uh, in terms of dark anemica. And I think all the light that we have here is done. So that's that's nice. On to day 136, and I have something very nice planned, something that we have all been waiting for, I'm sure. For me, it's been like two weeks. For y'all, it's been the duration of the video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I've been working on some stuff today, and there is 99 smithing done. If I click this, uh, there's 99 mining done, and 99 fishing done. <laughs> All in one. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> and there we have it, capes 1, 2, and 3 all picked up. Boom, there's the smithing cape. Actually, not a huge fan of this one, and the perk is, is not that great. Um, uh, the mining cape, which is quite nice. Always a fan of that blue color scheme, and I believe it's, uh, yeah, extra double ore chance. That's, that's decent. And uh, fishing cape, chance to get an additional catch. Always a nice, classic look. And... There's quite a few uh, hours left in the day, but I think I'm just going to call it here for the video and start working on some of the other grinds that I have in mind. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. And fun facts, I'm down to like 140 hours or so left till Max Cape, at least according to a little spreadsheet I have put together. So things are finally wrapping up. All right, fine. You know, one more surprise clip because I was skilling. Like I said, I would. And there is the, uh, there's the summoning pet. <laughs> okay. Picked up 7.6 mil. Not bad. All right. That, that's the real end of the video, y'all. <laughs>